And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey, everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the left-wing politics and their refusal to let any situation go to waste. This time, a few problems with BLM supporters. This one is a prime example. This was released yesterday. Please don't let Putin distract you from the issues that really matter. Ukrainian lives don't matter until black lives matter. Absolutely disgraceful the way that they'll use any excuse to bring up their ideology again. Now, it doesn't end there either. It's not just Black Lives Matter, but there are quite a few from Black Lives Matter alone, like this one. I feel like I'm watching George Floyd die again. Only the country version. <laughs> we all stand around knowing this is wrong, but helpless to stop it. What can we do? Ukraine is George Floyd. Yes, these absolute nut jobs are at it again. And it doesn't stop there. It's other left-wing political ideologies are being used on a regular basis. Here's just a few as a way of showing you. First one, a reminder not to assent, assign gender to anyone from the Ukraine when tweeting about World War Three. Like the Ukrainians will worry that you've given the wrong pronoun. Absolutely disgraceful. Remember to use the correct term, and the correct term, according to this fraggle, is follocks. <laughs> <laughs> what the bloody hell does that supposed to mean? When referring to all Ukrainian follocks, it's not hard to be inclusive of all genders in the Ukraine. I'm sure they're worrying about genders at the moment, you absolute idiot. When they're looking at the sky, wondering if a bomb's gonna fall. Now, don't think that it's just them, those idiots either, or BLM. There's also the mass Karens, the lurgy lobotomized. Here's one. A lot of people in Ukraine are crowding together inside, hiding. Only 35% of you Ukrainians have been jibby jabbied. <laughs> That's less than 2% have been boosted. Oh my god! <laughs> Wow, the, the, the insanity of these people is just beyond words. And it just shows that these people should not be listened to if this is the sort of takes they're coming along with. Now, here's another one. This isn't discussed much, but Putin very much benefits from white privilege. Jesus. I just can't see a scenario in which a black or brown man running Russia, <laughs> you wish, would be allowed to invade Ukraine with no devastating consequences. White supremacy will destroy us. Listen. Listen, you absolute idiot. Russia is a predominantly white country and the Ukraine is a predominantly white country. So how can it be white supremacy or white privilege, you absolute idiot? Next up, <laughs> we've got this one. In one way, Putin did us a favour. Historically, every president running for re-election during a war has won. It's quite telling that one, isn't it, really? Makes you wonder, was this started by the Russians or was this started by Biden so that he doesn't get voted out at the next election. Just a thought, and they carry, carry on. Fuck you, I'm serious. Anything that keeps Trump out of the White House, I embrace. Whiny bitches clutching their pearls and trying to police my tone will be blocked. I think it sounds like you're the whiny bitch. <laughs> and then the last part to that, if Trump gets back in office, we'll have the casualties from war and the genocide of the alphabet people. I'm not effing kidding. You are an absolute fraggle if you think that there's a genocide of f a alphabet people in any other nation other than Middle East. Absolute fraggles. And this is the best one of them all. Angela says this, draft the unvaccinated. <laughs> this is after, obviously, let's not forget, that they actually got rid of everyone that wouldn't be jibby jabbied from the military. Now they want to draft us all. Make your mind up. <laughs> and we've got this take from Chunk Uyghur. Right wing doesn't love Putin just because he's an authoritarian tyrannical leader look to Canada they love him because he's a white authoritarian leader of course it is race has become more important than even nationality only to you fraggles on the left they're turned on democracy and now even America in favour of a white overlord you don't know, these people are completely batshit crazy in my honest opinion then you've got this one Stephen King what most of us learned as kids on the playground you don't stand by while a big kid beats up a little kid you might take a punch or two making the big kids stop but that's the right thing to do and the perfect response to this has been put forward by Jake and he's put agreed I just keep wondering who was standing up for Yemen Somalia Syria Libya Afghanistan Iraq Bosnia Panama Grenada Lebanon Cuba Haiti Vietnam Korea Laos Cambodia etc etc when the US 
US troops landed who stopped up for the up to the big kid on the playground. Perfect response that, isn't it, to Stephen King? You absolute idiot. How about this? You write books and keep the politics to some some people that have a little bit more of a brain cell than a single cell amoeba. But I'd like to know your opinion on this one, everyone. I'd like to know what you think. This is just ridiculous, isn't it? Using possible war as an excuse to continue with first world bullshit crap ideologies and it's revealing them on a daily basis but let me know what you think if you're new to the channel you know what to do share it out for me stay sane see you on the next one